how do we find buyers or successors? And it's kind of to what Paul talked about. Firstly, we should not just know a guy, right, and make one phone call and get an offer. The, there is value in driving the yes. price up if you have multiple offers. So, Kevin, yes. maybe you can speak to the finding. Yeah. How do you find the buyer? Yeah, or absolutely. Find the successor. Absolutely. So, yeah, we we are generally focused on kind of sales to external parties uh, at my firm. Um, yeah. So before we go to market as part of the exit planning, as we are coming up with a pretty comprehensive potential buyer list. So that will include private equity firms that have invested in the space, private equity firms that have portfolio companies, strategic buyers. And perhaps, you know, at this point, most sellers are getting contacted directly by buyers and private equity. So perhaps you've had some past encounters with some potential buyers as well. So we are preparing a pretty exhaustive buyer list and we are proactively going out to all of those buyers with the teaser, which is a one page document that describes the key features of the business at a high level, but um, with um, not enough specificity that somebody will be able to figure out who it is. So we want it to be an anonymous teaser. Um, and then from there, we're, we're getting buyer interest, we're getting them to sign the NDA, and then they get to see the, the SIM, the confidential information memorandum. But we run a, a bespoke process for every deal. We're reaching out to anywhere between 100 and 300 buyers for most deals. Uh, we did a, a deal a couple of years ago, it was over a $100 million exit, and we reached out to 275 buyers to find the one buyer that really understood the value of this business. And, and our goal in every deal, um, like Fran said, is to get a, a competitive process going. We want to run a controlled auction where we are setting the timelines and we are controlling the pace of the deal. And... Um, and that's how you get buyers to compete. They, they have to feel that there's competition. Uh, they have to perceive competition. And um, that has a pretty good outcome, usually. Um, you know, yeah. um, is it better to have a strategic buyer or private equity? Private equity has some sort of some sort of reputation. So yeah. you know, what is the experience that you yeah. have? Yeah, so I would say I would definitely advise sellers to not have a preconceived notion on who the right buyer is. Um, private equity sometimes doesn't have the best reputation. And that has not been my personal experience. My last three deals have all gone to private equity and I found them to be um, straight shooters. They move quickly. They know what they want. They're not playing games and they can pretty quickly give you a quick yes or no. Um, strategic buyers, you know, sometimes they will pay the most, but they also have, they tend to have a more um, it, uh, uh, advanced decision-making process with multiple layers and board of director meetings, and it can, they can tend to take longer. So there's definitely pros and cons of, of both, but we encourage running a process with strategics and private equity buyers because you just never know who's going to emerge. 